Welcome to this video of 2024, the first video of 2024 for grade sevens. Um, yeah, happy new year, guys. And in this video, I am going to look at well the topic of whole numbers, and we're going to learn how to take a number and write it as a product of its prime factors. Now, before we can do that, I'll tell you we can also do this in a calculator, but I'll show you that a bit later. Uh, you need to know what are prime numbers. So firstly, prime numbers. Prime numbers are all the numbers that have only two factors, which is one and itself. So these are the first few prime numbers that we do have. Um, 7, not 8, 9, not 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All these numbers can only be divided by the number one and itself without giving you a remainder. So these are the first few prime numbers that we have. Now that you know the prime numbers, we can then take a number. So let's go number one. Let's take 32. So I can take the number 32 and I can write it as a product of its prime numbers numbers so the way i do that is i'm going to use the letter rule so i'm going to make a letter like this okay so i say 32 i will take the first prime number and try to divide it in d i'll say how many times does 2 go into 32 right and that would be 16 so if a 2 does divide i write the 2 here and the answer that i get i write it below 32 so a 2 does go into 32 it goes in uh, 16 times. A 2 still does go into uh, 16. It goes in uh, 8 times. A 2 still does go into 8. It goes in 4 times. A 2 still does go into 4. 2 times. A 2 still does go into 2. It goes in once. And when you're writing a number as a product of its prime numbers or its prime factors, it will you will always have um, 1 here at the end. That's, that's how you know you're done. So that means that 32 is the same thing as taking a 2 times a 2 times a 2 times another 2 times another 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 twos multiplying themselves will give you 32. That's very important, right? Instead of writing these crosses here, I can say 2.2.2.2. That means multiply, right? Or instead of writing the twos all over and all over, I can write them as exponent form. So I can say it's two to the power of five, meaning there's five twos that are multiplying itself. So that's how you write a number as a product of its prime factors. Let's have another example, just one more, something light. Uh, let's have a, let's say like a 30, 35, right? So when it comes to a 35, you will ask yourself, can this prime number divide into 35, the first prime number? And you will say that, nope, because this is an even number, it cannot divide. Then you ask yourself, can the next one, which is a 3, divide in D? No, it can't. Then the next one, a 5, this can, because this is a... Uh, these are um, multiples of 5. So a 5 does go into 35, it goes in 7 times. But a 5 now can't go into 7. The next prime number, which is 7, can go into 7. So you put the 7 here, and you get the answer is 1. Right? You see? That's how you know you're done. That means that 35 can be written as 5 times 7. That's how you write 35 as a product of its prime factors. Right, so we are going to be working together this year. I don't know why it keeps doing that. All right. You want to get yourself a bit of stationery right there. Like get yourself like a hardcover book with as many pages as you can get. And get yourself, well, you are grade 7. You don't really need a calculator. But get yourself a calculator because they do permit them in exams nowadays. So it will make your life easier. Actually, I have to show you how to do it with a calculator. Just for in case um, you will have a calculator with you in the exam. So let's say I wanted to do uh, the first one, 32. 
as a product of its prime factors. And let's see if I remember this. So the first thing you need to do is put 32 in the calculator and hit equals. And after that, you need to go shift, press shift, this button here, shift. And then you press this button with a lot of commas here. Uh, you're looking for fact, right? And then it writes two to the power of five. So that's, that's how you get a number as a product of its prime factors in a calculator. All right. So, yeah, um, let's continue here. So we, we are done with the lesson. I just wanted to tell you that you should get yourself probably like stationary. Um, uh, you can get yourself a cashier because many calculators won't have that fact button over there. So you, you want that. Um, so that it makes it easier for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Get yourself a pair of headsets so that you'll be listening to us, you know, on your way to school. And if you want to buy merch, here are all the details. You can get it in any t-shirt color that you want. Pink, orange, green, blue, doesn't matter. Uh, 230 for this big logo, 180 for the small logo, and uh, plus delivery day. So uh, contact us here via WhatsApp to order your t-shirt. Obviously, you have to talk to your parents first. Happy New Year.